In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can hide your WordPress website using a maintenance plugin. This is particularly useful if you're still working on your website, maybe it's not quite ready yet, and you don't want people looking around at your work in progress. I'm gonna show you how you can put up a nice screen, put an image up, put some text up, contact details, and that's what people will see when they visit your website. Of course, when you're logged in as an admin, you'll be able to see the site perfectly well, and it's only gonna be people that are logged out that get the maintenance page. You might also want to hide your website if you need to make some changes, do some updates, you know, whatever. You need to do some work and you don't want people looking at the site while you do that. You can stick this page up just for a few hours while you do that work and then take it down when you're ready. It's really easy to do. We're gonna be using a free plugin. So let's go. Okay, so I'm over at bowwowtech.co.uk, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. I created it in a previous video tutorial. Uh, so if you'd like a site just like this, you'll find a link to that tutorial in the description. So anyway, let's just imagine I'm about to do loads of work on this site and I need to just take it offline just for a few moments while I do that work. And that's why we're gonna install our maintenance mode plugin. So to do that, we're gonna go into dashboard. I'm already logged into the site. Then within the dashboard, we're gonna go down to plugins and add new. Then in the search box up in the right hand corner, I'm gonna type in maintenance. It's pretty straightforward. Then here we go, we've got a whole load of different plugins to choose from. Can be a little bit overwhelming to decide which one's the best. Now I have tested out a number of these different ones and my favorite one is this one here. It's called Maintenance and it's by Fruitful Code. I like this one because it's easy to use, it's lightweight, very easy to configure the holding screen. So anyway, it's installing, I've clicked Install now. Okay, that's installed, let's click Activate. And it's now activated, so got this new option at the top here, which tells us if the maintenance mode page is on, which it currently is. And then down here in the dashboard, we've got this new maintenance option. So let's just have a look in there. Okay, so in here we can change some of the, uh, the general settings. We can, of course, turn maintenance on or off. I'll leave it on for now because we're gonna take a look. So this is the page title. So that's the bit that appears up in the tab within the browser. Here's the headline. We can change that. Just something, whatever. <laughs> just having a little refresh. And then here is the description. So we can just change this. We'll be back soon. Got the footer text here. Here we can set a logo. So let's do that. I think I've got one in my uh, media library. I'd have thought as I've got one in the header. There we go. That is 300 by 64. I'm just remembering the dimensions. They're over here. I need to type them in here. Like that. Do a retina logo as well if you've got one to hand. Um, I don't think I have, so I'll leave that. We can also change this background image. And let's do that. So the current size of it is 1920 by 1280. So you're gonna need an image of a similar size, which I have. I'm gonna upload it. So I'm just gonna browse my computer, find that image. Got it to hand, oh, it's see it somewhere. There we go. Should be a nice doggy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the image that comes with the plugin, the kind of mountains, that's, that's nice too. Thought this was more suitable. There we go. Uh, you've got some other images you can add if you want to, you don't need to. You can add your Google Analytics ID if you want to track how much traffic you're getting on your maintenance page. But that's about it. Got a few options here. If there's a particular page that you still want to be visible to visitors, you can add the IDs here, so that's pretty handy. There is a pro version of this plugin that gives you a few extra features like um, countdowns, that kind of stuff, but I think generally this is adequate. 
Okay, so I think we're about ready to see if it's working. Now, of course, as we're logged in, we won't see the maintenance page. As it's only shown to logged out users. So uh, before I actually test out um, the page, I'm just gonna clear my cache. I think it's probably a good thing to do. If you're running some sort of caching plugin, I suggest you do the same. Then I'm gonna pop open an incognito window so we can easily take a look at the site as a logged out user. And here we go. What has gone on with my logo? That's not quite right. Other than that, it looks fine. I mean, you can log in over here if you like, that's nice. What's gone on with my logo? Mm, let's have a look. Let's just close that. Yeah, it's definitely there. Ah, I bet it's because I didn't set a retina. And I'm looking at it on a retina screen, so I probably should. I can just set the same one. I mean, ideally a retina logo should be twice the size um, of a standard one, but hey. <laughs> let's do that. It might look a little bit blurry or whatever, but hey. That's all saved. Let's pop open that incognito window again and just have a look. There we go, there's the logo. So, that's it. And of course, uh, once you wanna switch it off, just come back in here, switch that off there. We can do it up here as well if you like. Save changes. And you're back online. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've got your maintenance mode plugin all up and running. Please leave me a comment or question below. I do read all of the comments I get and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. On the video right now, you'll see some links to some things. If you click on the eagle, you can subscribe. Click on my face, you better check out my vlog channel. There's also a couple more videos that have been chosen especially for you. So I hope you like them. Until next time, bye for now.